commander of your camp, yes, sir. Yes, I know. I know. Mr. Good to see you. Hello again. Hello. Nice to talk with you again. Good to see you. Hello there. Nice to see you. Family here in front of the desk. All right. Squeeze in a little bit. There we go. Turn slightly sideways. And then, there we go. That's it. Thank you. Well, well, nice of you to come down here to us flatland touristers. Oh. So cool. <laughs> and there, there's a little souvenir for you. Oh. And for you. Thank you. And a pen for you. Thank you. And I thought maybe that you might be able to use a a book bag. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Sure will. Oh, thank yeah, you very much. Very it's nice much. to see you all. Yes. Good to miss you all. And good to miss that place. It's been a real pleasure I'm serving you. It really has. Uh, it's been a good pleasure for us, I think. Mr. President, it was his CBs that built uh, Rex's new doghouse. Oh, yes. You've given me a chance. Yes, to say thank I couldn't believe that. Yes, to <laughs> send it back. I can show it either. doghouse. So, you have, have you seen it? I just saw the top of it. Maybe it looks like the White House. <laughs> well, just turn them loose. They said, uh, just need one that looks like the White House and good big enough for Rex. And they just, they just took the ball and ran with it. <laughs> they said it was big enough for Rex and his spouse and small children. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, it's just beautiful. Is there a hole in the floor in Aspen Cabin now? Uh, no, that was... Uh, that was spare Aspen oh. carpet. It is Aspen carpet. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, yes, absolutely. Thank you. That's great. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you very well, much. Mr. President, if I may say so, sir, this will be my goodbye. Well, it's been wonderful serving you. Well, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Best of luck in California, and I hope you find the ranch to your satisfaction after we finish tearing up the park. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure we will. <laughs> Thank you. on every day just <laughs> of our country, and I'm not sure any of us need to go up and down that emotional road. <laughs> but uh, I did want to thank all of you, and uh, this has been for me a superb learning experience. And they say to me, I just finished some reporters from the Texas papers and the wire services, and they say, what does it feel like? And I said, I know exactly how Martin Van Buren felt. <laughs> Oh, Marty came in. <laughs> they, they now say, incidentally, they now say, uh, after the Martin Van Buren myth, thanks to your largesse and the support of all these people, has been gunned down, they say, yeah, but he was a lousy president. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you to all of you. And I know it's not easy, because you and I share the same affection for this president. We all feel richer because of what he's done. Uh, I don't know how to feel. I asked him uh, what it felt like just a minute ago, 
And uh, he said, well, you're going to find out tomorrow. No, I said, I mean, what's it feel like after eight years and leaving this country with 68% of the American people <laughs> understanding that you've done a superb job? And so uh, the Martin Van Buren myth number two gets gunned down, maybe eventually. <laughs> but thank you all, really, from a grateful heart for all of you for what you've done for this country uh, in service to this president in preparing the 41st president of the United States to take over. And I told the president, I know it's going to be tough, and, but I learned from him. Even when the going got the toughest, you never heard him say, the loneliness of the job was too big for any one man. I remember before he came in, Lloyd Cutler, for whom we all have great respect, and I mean that, affection in my case and respect, wrote an article uh, saying, well, maybe it's time for the United States to have a parliamentary system. Maybe the job is too big for one man. That was before Ronald Reagan came along, and all of you. Thank you. And very much those words but let me also say George has been a part of everything that we did and accomplished when we've been here he never took my pulse once <laughs>